Hello and welcome back to another video. I'm Sanja and in today's video I'm going to review Winsor & Newton Designer Gouache. I've been using Winsor & Newton Gouache from 4 years and it's great. It's good quality paint, suitable for artists, designers and illustrators and I enjoy working with this gouache brand. I would say the strengths of Winsor & Newton are bright colors with high pigment load and with clean color mixing that prevents the color to become muddy after a larger number of color mixes. By doing this review, I'm going to share my personal experience working with this gouache brand. Winsor & Newton Designer Gouache try in a matte and opaque finish. They also have a good covering which allows you to overlay opaque layers easily. When you squeeze the paint out of the tube, unfortunately the consistency is not that creamy, but it only takes more mix with the brush to get a fluid consistency. But when the paint is diluted with water, I find it very easy to handle the paint. So I would recommend you to add water to the paint to help the flow of your brush. It will be easier to handle and to mix the paint. It will also prevent the paint from cracking, as Winsor & Newton recommends to do so and add water. And don't worry, since the paint is very pigmented and opaque, you will still get nice flat and opaque washes, even if you add water. I also find this brand very suitable if you like working with gouache like watercolors, so with more transparent washes. Since the colors are very bright, I find them very similar to watercolors. What I really like about this brand is that you can find so many detailed informations and tips regarding their gouache colors, how they make them, the pigment used and more. They also give helpful tips for gouache has a medium, which really shows that Winsor & Newton is a professional and good quality brand. If you're interested to know more in details, I will leave all the links to their website and more in the description. Winsor & Newton Designers Gouache is originally from UK. It offers a spectrum of 82 colors available in 14 mm tube. You can also get some colors in bigger tubes. Designer Squash is divided by four series. I have colors from all the four series, but it wasn't planned for this video. I simply chose these colors based on recommendation and on the colors I like using the most. And they all dry in a beautiful matte finish. There is a difference of opacity between the colors I have but they are marked as opaque and semi-opaque colors. Now I will explain the meaning of the symbols and how to read the Winsor & Newton label. Something I love about Winsor & Newton gouache is that you can find many informations regarding their colors characteristics both on their tube and on their website. On their tubes is marked the color name, color swatch, permanence, the serious number, the opacity and transparency, light fastness and the pigment used. I will start with the permanence, which it refers to the light fastness and film and chemical stability of the paint. The permanence of a color is described by using the system of AA, A, B and C. AA being extremely permanent to C being fugitive, which means that some fugitive colors may fade within months. The light fastness is described by the Roman numeral from 1 to 5, 1 and 2 being the highest light fastness available and considered permanent for artists' use, to 3, 4 and 5 having a lower light fastness rating. The opacity is indicated by square symbols. I only have opaque and semi-opaque colors at the moment, so opaque colors 
are marked with a full square. Relatively semi-opaque colors are marked with half full square. There are also semi-transparent colors that are marked with an empty square with a diagonal line and transparent colors that are marked with an empty square. As you can see, I'm leaving all the meaning on the screen, but you can find more details regarding their colors on their website, which I will leave the links in the description. Now I'm going to paint an illustration with Winsor & Newton gouache, but while you see me painting, I'm going to keep talking about this brand furthermore. Between the four series, I noticed that the first series have a lower quality compared to the other three series. What I noticed specifically is that the colors from the first series tend to dry faster while the colors from the other series stay moist a longer time both inside and outside the tube. I'm talking for most of the colors from series 1, at least. So they may crack more easily too. But other than that, they are the same and the vibrance of the colors is the same among all the four series. Personally, I have never experienced cracking on my illustrations and I don't experience cracking that much neither on my palette because I dilute my gouache colors with lots of water. I don't have many colors from the third and fourth series, but they seem even more pigmented than the first two series, which is great because a small amount of paint can go a long way. Last week I reviewed Royal Talents gouache. If you haven't watched the video, please go and check it out. I will leave the link in the description and top right on the card because the gouache brands I use the most are Royal Talents and Winsor & Newton. In that video I also explained more about my way of working with gouache, which I won't talk it about it again in this video. I haven't tried many gouache brands yet, so I'm not sure how fair it is for me to do a comparison between these two brands, but I thought I would give you my opinion comparing the gouache brands I use the most, to give you a better idea of their gouache differences and maybe it can help you to have a better idea about Winsor & Newton gouache, but also Royal Talents gouache. For example, I find them both good quality paint, but I find Winsor & Newton has a better quality and a better formula, such as opacity, coverage and vibrance of pigment. I like both brands, so for me it's more a choice based on color preference. I can buy colors from Winsor & Newton, which Royal Talents doesn't have, and the other way around. I love the indigo from Winsor & Newton, which I can't find from Royal Talents, but I love the carmine red, which Winsor & Newton doesn't have. For example, I personally prefer the greens and browns from Winsor & Newton, rather than Royal Talents. They are brighter even when I mix them with other colors. I love the color range I can get when using the greens and browns from Winsor & Newton. And that's it! I hope you enjoyed my Winsor & Newton review. Stay tuned because I'm going to review other gouache brands on my channel. If you have any questions about Winsor & Newton gouache or about gouache as a medium, Feel free to leave a comment down below and I will be happy to reply and help you. Also, let me know if you have ever used Winsor & Newton designer's gouache before and if you like it. I would love to know your opinion and thoughts about this brand.